probably didn't expect a Tesla t-shirt, neither did I. But my mom and my aunt took my cousins and I to go see Def Leppard and Tesla at the Mohegan Sun Arena. And both my cousin Tim and I, at the time, had really long hair. So of course, what does it say on the back? Something like, long hair, freaky people need not apply from that song that I didn't know. But my mom and my aunt were like, you guys got to get those shirts. Like, you guys have long hair, like long haired freaky people. They didn't sound like that, but that's how, uh, that's how they made us get these t-shirts. They didn't make us do anything, but like, what I'm going to be like, no mom, that's stupid. You were already at the Def Leppard show. Um, but then like we convinced ourselves that we liked Tesla just to have these t-shirts. It's silly. It was silly times. That's identity crisis. Uh, big time in Kyle's concert career. <laughs> We've made it to 2005 in a truly defining moment. I went to go see Mindless Self Indulgence. I was a freshman in high school and this was the first time I got to go to a concert without my parents. I got into like a, like a two-seater truck with three people, me being the third, and we drove to New Haven, and we saw a band called the AKAs opened, then Suicide City, and then Mindless Self-Indulgence. I really loved me some MSI. Uh, that was that was good times. That was really starting to form that high school, those first two years when nobody wanted to talk to me uh, era, when I claimed I was a Satanist, and when I listened to Mindless Self-Indulgence, it was really a great way to get friends and uh, celebrate life. We made it. 2006 started out trapped Chevelle and Nickelback. You might be wondering why I didn't get a Nickelback t-shirt. Why I got a Chevelle t-shirt. Chevelle was just a little bit harder, you know, I'm off the heels of going to see Mindless Self-Indulgence, I can't be in a Nickelback t-shirt, um, Trapped, it just has Headstrong, but Chevelle, uh, Chevelle was the clear winner of that one. So, Mindless Self-Indulgence ended up becoming the first artist I saw more than once. So I couldn't get the same t-shirt, but I needed to get a t-shirt. I had this thing where if I went to a concert, I had to get a piece of merchandise or else we wouldn't have had 2000 to 2005 now. Um, so this was what I opted for. As you can see, it is a little large for me. I went with the work shirt for all the hard work that I do. Uh, you just got my own self indulgence on the sleeve. You got the boom box on the pocket. And you have a wonderful mindless self indulgence design on the back. Whoo, Lord. There's, uh, there's no. This is a blanket. This is a blanket now. 